Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752, and this your daily go get them is number 257 for June 19, 2015. We wasn't even going to do this video like this. I had this nice video set up for y'all. It was hot too, you know, but it was outside, and I wanted to show y'all the water plug, a fire hydrant to some of y'all, but it ain't really work out. So now this is a pout video. It, it went from a happy video like a Oh man, it's the joint video too. Man, listen. But weather permitting, we might do something fly out there and make it hot. Anyway, I want to talk to y'all today about doing it with the lights on. And I'm not talking about that sexual. I know a lot of people be thinking, you know, you do it all, you're trying to be nasty. I ain't trying to be nasty. When I say doing it with the lights on, I mean how some people perform better when they when they are under pressure, when they have people over them watching them, you know, looking at them, critiquing them, criticizing them, motivating them, you know what I'm saying? Like they do better in that type of scenario. High pressure situations, which can, which can actually work well in, in, for a lot of jobs, particularly like the stock market. It's a very high pressure, um, stressful uh, occupation, stock broker. Not that I know any stock brokers, but you understand what I'm saying. You know, but some people do very well when the stage lights are on, so to speak. You know, like uh, even at a regular job, if they know that their boss is, is constantly watching them, monitoring them, or if they know that their, their co-workers are watching what they're doing, then they may show off a little bit. That may be a scenario that they perform the best in. Sometimes with those people, those same people, they can't perform unless somebody's over them watching them, making sure that they're doing something, making sure that they're not slacking off and all of that. So it's like when the cat's away, the mice will play. Those are the type of people that those are. And then you have the type of people that like to work in the background. They don't, I mean, not that there's not a lot of pressure and stress associated with working in the background, but sometimes when you work in the background, you have enough time to be able to do whatever you want to do, to just be able to plan out your work, work out your plan, and uh, and come out and be really, really creative with something and get get things done. As long as somebody's not over you, you know, you know, I mean, really over you, getting all in your face, making sure that you, you do what you're supposed to do. And when I say getting in your face, I mean like getting all up in your in your area, like yo. Yo, we need this done. We got deadlines to meet. And if you don't meet them, then this whole operation is going down. It's going to be your fault. You. A lot of people don't do well in those kind of situations. A lot of people don't do well in those kind of situations. But, you know, whether you play the background or whether you are out there in the front, on the front lines doing your thing, in front of the whole crowd, stage, light, camera, action. As long as you do what you do well, understand the scenarios in which you perform the best and the, the scenarios or the environments in, in which you are most effective and productive, and you will go far in life. And ain't nothing wrong with that. You can't beat that. So check it out, right? Um, wherever you are, whatever job that you do, if, even if it's a non-paying job, even if it's a volunteer, some volunteer work or 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 or, or um, some charity work, whatever. You, if you're just helping out, know which environment that you thrive best in and perform to the highest level that you possibly can. Make it happen. Be the man or the woman. <clears throat> Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard. Go for yours. And yo, high pressure, low pressure, and, and on stage, behind the scenes, every job is important. Every role is a, is, a, um, is a role that needs to be played, and it all makes the show work. And whatever the show is, the show is whatever you are involved in. So make sure that your contribution to that show is a good one. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the Urban Therapy with Sun Spring Cleaning event. June 20th, the time is here, the time is now, it's time to push off. It's time to get this walk on. It's time to bring your bring your men down, you know, bring your fathers on through, and you know what I'm saying. Get this walk and talk, meet and greet, exercise.
exercise type of thing going on because it's going to be hot. This is the third installment installment of the summer, and and this is the one that's going to be the hottest and the best. So tomorrow morning, Wixahickon Avenue and Rittenhouse Street, 10 o'clock a.m. in Philadelphia. If you live anywhere in, in the in the Delaware Valley tri-state area, come on down. Come 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 rock with us. You'll love it. Damn, man, I was supposed to have some water here. It's corny. Who messed up this set? See? My stage hands ain't doing what they supposed to do. Oh, yo. Check this out, yo. I think it stopped raining. Yeah, it stopped raining. I mean, check this out. Check this out. Alright. I think we can make this shit happen. Yeah. Let y'all see this. So I see this right here. Alright. The water plug right there. Yeah. Now it was raining a few minutes ago. So everybody, you know, got up out of that thing. And this is my world famous corner. But that thing clears out when the weather gets bad. Or the man comes through. All right, that's gonna do it. No more snitching. 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 Urban therapy with son. Daily go get him is two fifty seven. I holler y'all, peace.